Hello everybody, my name is Heartless Bandit and welcome back to another episode of Kingdom Hearts Final Mix. In the last episode we arrived here at Agrabah and we discovered my namesake Heartless, the Heartless Bandits. Yes, the most awesome Heartless in the world. I love him personally. So, in this episode we are going to progress through Agrabah and we are going to see if we can find Princess Jasmine because we know that she is in trouble. They are looking for everywhere for her. So, let's go. We already fought off some heartless that were that that were out here in this episode in the previous episode, so we're not gonna run into too many in this little area over here. So we're gonna tap open this chest here. We got we got a mega ether. That's always nice. Uh, so let's progress into this area and see what we can find on the hunt for Jasmine. Gonna run into some heartless quite a bit, you know, in our search. You know, I already know where to find her. So we're not gonna waste too much time. Oh, these are the pot spiders. Pot spiders, yeah, these are pot spiders. And they can be annoying. They can be annoying, depending on how you how you view them. Because, you know, they do these quick attacks. They can strike at you, they can jump really high and snipe you from the air. So that's not very well appreciated. But it happens. They're they're pretty decent. They're spiders. We're getting rid of all these Heartless because of the experience. The experience is always needed. We're gonna need it eventually for this for this world because there's some things in this world that can wreck us. Absolutely wreck us. And it is not gonna be fun. So depending on whether or not we get to it in this episode... That looks like a Mickey Mouse over there. Haha, <laughs> that's a hit. Anyways, um, depending on where we get in this episode, if we get to the things that are supposed to wreck me in this episode, I am going to end the episode off and I'm just gonna grind so that I can gain some experience. Who's there? Hello? I'm Jasmine. My father's the Sultan of Agrabah. Uh, so that makes you a princess? But he has been... What? What, what was I about to read? Anyways, um, but he has been deposed by Jafar. Who now, control, who now controls the city. I cannot read tonight. God damn. Jafar? You haven't heard of him? He's the royal vizier. He gained evil powers and seized Agrabah. He's desperately looking for something. Something he calls the keyhole. Jafar caught me trying to escape, but he helped me. Who helped you? We were riding nearby, but he left a while ago to take care of something. I hope Aladdin's alright. Aladdin? Where might I find this street rat? Jasmine, allow me to find you more suitable company, my dear princess. These little rats won't do you see. Jasmine, run! Ah, the boy who holds the key. And like all villains, they don't ever, you know, bother to take us on themselves. They send their little minions and walk away like a little bitch. Because that's what they do. They send out their minions to find us. So we're gonna come up over here, destroy a couple more of these things, get some money. We're gonna open that, that treasure chest over here as soon as we get rid of these shadows. Can I light you on fire, please? Get out of here. Get wet, get there. Oh, another one of these. Get some more money. Money's always appreciated. We're gonna need it because if we're gonna customize our gummy ship, we're gonna need money. We need money to get awesome things, just like in real life. We got a mega potion there, I think. Our key unlocks any door, so we're gonna shove our key into the hole over there. Unlock that door. Make our way over here on top of these things. And climb up to this other door. Eventually it's gonna lead us back to the to the main plaza. Can you guys can you guys get that? Just destroy him. I highlighted him for you. Better destroy him. Please, take him out. Come on. Come on. You should do it. Come on. Don't be too hard. There you go. You see, you guys can do it. You don't need me. And they don't waste any time trying to, you know, blindside us with pot spiders. Uh, so, what we're supposed to be doing here... We're supposed to make our way over to Aladdin's house. They don't really tell us where we need to go. We just need to kind of figure it out for ourselves. 
but it's not really too hard to figure out. We come up over here, we, you know, platform across these awnings, and we see a stripper pole that we can shimmy up. So that's exactly what we're going to do. Over into Aladdin's house. Let's go! Without even an invitation. And we have a nice little save point over here that I'm going to hit so that we can refill our magic and our health. We're going to open up this treasure chest over here. Scissors G. Um, that can sound pretty dirty depending on how you look at it. I'm not going to go any further than that. And we have a Mega Elixir. That is super nice. Mega Elixirs are the best thing to have in the end game. And we have a magic carpet here of sorts. This carpet shouldn't be moving on its own, but it's magic, so we're not going to question it. And without even a thank you, he flies off. The carpet flew off toward the desert. Let's follow it, Sora. Okay, so, we know we need to go to the desert. Let's go! Because we ain't got no water, we ain't got nothing. We just have each other. I'm sure we'll survive. If we end up starving to death, we're gonna eat Donald first, because he's a duck. And duck is good. I'd rather eat a duck than a dog. I know, I'm horrible. And another little save point over here that's really pointless because we were just at a save point. We're going to talk to the magic carpet. He wants us to come along. All aboard! Let's go. Woohoo! The physics with the magic carpet is all kinds of fucked up. I'm not even going to get into that. The physics is, is all kind of fucked up. And Aladdin and Abu are stuck in a sand pit. And like the ninjas they look like, they hop up out of the ground and yell surprise. Because that's what we like. We like surprises. There, um, there really isn't a set amount that we need to, to fight because they just keep on coming. Eventually, we're going to um, activate the cutscene because there is way too many of us, or way too many of them, not us. There's way too many of them for us to fight by ourselves without a little help. We're going to need some magic to help us out with these things. So hopefully Aladdin can get out soon and help us. Please? Anytime now? Let me grab these green magic balls of health. There we go. You see, right here, he looks like he can't move at all. He looks like he can't move at all. Then he just magically stands up. Like, what did he need us for? Genie, get rid of these guys! <laughs> Wish number one coming right up! I see. <laughs> Thanks, Sora. Aladdin, what are you doing out here? Same old stuff, hunting legendary treasure. Just paid a visit to the Cave of Wonders. I found that magic carpet. And this lamp. Legend has it that whoever holds the lamp can summon- Please, kid, leave the intros to a professional. The one and only Genie of the Lamp. Rub it up, dub the lamp and have your dearest wishes granted. His winner is Aladdin. Congratulations. I'm a rush. Patience, my fine feathered friend. Any three wishes. Oh, one wish, a two wish, a three wish. Then I make like a banana and see it. A lucky winner made his first wish. And let me tell you what a doozy that wish was. So he has two left! So, Master, what do you have for wish number two? Hey, how about making me a fabulously wealthy prince? Whoa! Money, royalty, fame! Why didn't I hear that? Okay, you asked for it. A hundred servants and a hundred candles loaded with gold. Just say the word and I'll deliver it in 30 minutes or less or your meal's free. Hey, I'll even throw in a cappuccino. <laughs> no thanks. Okay. I think I'll put that on hold until we reach Agrabah. Oh, why a prince? You see, there's this girl in Agrabah named Jasmine. But she's a princess. And I'm... Ah, uh, she could never fall for a guy like me. Oh, 
What, Jas? Jasmine? Oh, that's right. She's in trouble, Aladdin. What? Well, come on, let's get going. And we now have the option of adding Aladdin into our party, which we're not going to do. I'd much rather have, you know, Genie in our party, because he is a freaking awesome Disney character. He is one of my personal favorite Disney characters. I love him to death. I grew up with, with Aladdin and Genie, and it is just amazing to see them in this, in, in this game the way they are. It's freaking amazing. The great outdoors. I guess you don't get out much, huh? Comes with a job. Phenomenal cosmic powers. Itty bitty living space. It's always three wishes, then back to my portable prison. I'm lucky to see the light of day every century or two. Say, Genie, what if I use my last wish to free you from the lamp? What do you think? You do that? Genie, it's a promise. After we help Jasmine. And we've made our way back into Agrabah. These are the Fat Bandits. I think they're called Fat Bandits? No, yeah, they're Fat Bandits. They are the Heartless Bandits' fat cousin. And they breathe fire. They breathe fire. They're very annoying. You can counter it with, with um, ice, it's very effective against it because, as you can see, it's shooting fireballs. And it can, you know, shoot fire from its mouth. It's a fire beetle. Oh god, I'm gonna die. Here we go. It's very nice that we have heal now. These things will wreck you. They are so annoying. There we go. We got rid of it. And we got the big, giant HP balls of light. So, um, let's see. I think I'm going to, uh, after we, after we fight that one, are, are you a spider? No, you're not? Okay. So, I think I'm going to end the episode off here. Um, if you enjoyed this episode, please hit that like button, leave a comment, please subscribe, and as always, stay stealthy, my friends.